Well, seldom is information sharing more critical than communication between physician and patient. In our fast-paced world, achieving consistent, reliable information exchange between doctor and patient can sometimes be a challenge. The ultimate goal between today's short office visits and long periods of time between those visits, it's clear. Reach a diagnosis and prescribe a path to wellness for each and every patient, right? With us today discussing how the healthcare industry is achieving better communication for better patient care is Dr. Gita Naya. She is the Chief Medical Officer at Patient Point. Hey there, good to see you. Thanks, Danielle. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for being here this morning. You're a doctor. Who and what is behind the need to kind of improve this information exchange between doctor and patient? It's really the patient. Just like with other industries where we see all kinds of mobile applications out there, whether you're paying a bill, whether you're checking in for a flight, healthcare is no different. And with all the different changes in healthcare reform, we know that the focus is all around how to get the patient to be engaged and not just download an application, right? But actually use technologies and systems that are going to better empower the patient and the doctor to have a more meaningful discussion. I know when I go into the doctor's office, I feel like I'm like boom, 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 in and out. And I know that the average face time between a doctor and patient is like between seven and eight minutes. So what technologies can physicians provide to kind of strengthen that communication so that both the patient and doctor really can make the most of that time together? Doctors never have enough time, patients never have enough time. With the different technologies like the ones we offer, we're really looking to take that seven to eight minute office visit and extend it beyond the four walls of the office. So whether it's a mobile application, whether it's a patient portal, we're saying let's have not just a longer conversation, but a more meaningful one. I've heard this term lately, empowered patients. What does that mean and how can physicians help make their patients and help their patients kind of take a more active role in their own health care? An empowered patient, an empowered patient in my office is a partner in crime. It's someone that I know is educated on their illness, educated on their treatment plan, and actually wants to do the things that we talk about and doesn't sort of feel like this is a one-way conversation. As far as what doctors can do, I think, again, with all the different things going on in health reform, making sure that you're meaningfully youth certified, making sure that your office is a patient-centered medical home, and making sure that you really are utilizing cloud-based technologies and mobile technologies to really meet the patient where they're at, whether they're in their home, whether they're in their community, or whether they're in their office. It's not just about when they come into the emergency room. It's all about keeping them out of the emergency room and making sure they're healthier and smarter about their disease. So I know for me, sometimes going into a doctor's office can be a little intimidating. So I may not ask all the questions, right, that I want to ask. Describe for us the gaps in care and what patients can do in terms of their face-to-face -face communication with their doctor to bridge that gap and to keep these gaps from happening in the first place. Gaps in care are just that. They're really missed opportunities to have a healthier decision or a healthier lifestyle. So whether we're talking about a pap smear, a mammogram, it's that understanding that both the patient and the doctor need to have as to why that's important and why you should want to do those things. And as far as what doctors can do, again, it's, it's a partnership. The gap in care has to be closed, not just by the doc, but also by the patient. And it's that understanding, it's that communication, through solutions such as the ones we offer that are really focused around making sure that the accountability is on the patient as well as on the physician. So highlight for us then how that technology can kind of start, even let's say if we're sitting in the waiting room, waiting because a lot of us are doing that, we're just kind of sitting there twiddling our thumbs. How can we start this process even then? So at Patient Point, we actually start the conversation in the waiting room. So we offer education on our digital screens. We offer tablets that essentially offer relevant questionnaires for patients to fill out and start that conversation with their physician before they even walk in. All of that information is there in a holistic view, and it's not just a clipboard or a tablet that's been given to the patient that no one ever looks at. The waiting room, I find, is actually one of the best places to engage with patients because all of a sudden they're scared, they're anxious, they want to know, what is diabetes again? Why do I have to take my medication again? So through our award-winning educational content, we're able to do that rather than having our patients ask their neighbor or go to Facebook or go to Twitter. We're able to offer them very relevant and credible information right before they go in to talk to their doctor, making sure that that's a meaningful conversation. You know, the thing you talked about very quickly, I know we have just about 30 seconds left. You talked about the cloud. We use the cloud for everything else. I mean, I store my pictures, my kids' pictures in the cloud. Why not be able to store your medical information there? Exactly. You know, the cloud sounds like a scary place, yeah. but we use it in every facet of our lives today. And with the right security protocols, with the right technology, cloud-based systems really take 
all of the different barriers to communication away, whether it's hospital A and hospital B needing to share information, or whether it's the patient and the physician being able to share information so that we have a holistic view of the patient. We know exactly how many x-rays you've had, of which appendage, at when, so we can make a smart and intelligent choice about your health care and not actually spend a lot of money doing it. Well, doctor, they say if you have your health, you have everything. So this was great information. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Appreciate seeing you. And if you'd like to learn more about maintaining your own good health, visit us at thebalancingact.com. And for those who want to communicate any of your health-related concerns or stories, look for us on Facebook forward slash thebalancingactfans.